So you can't tell someone their motivations are wrong for buying a car. But I can tell you that your motivations are leading you in the wrong directions for that car. Um, a lot of people today still look at car buying as this daunting experience and aren't buying the right car for them. Cars are an emotional experience. When you're buying a car, you're going to be angry, sad, or going to cry for joy and sadness in that car. So a car should mean something. When you're sitting in there, there's a lot of surfaces you're touching. Um, you're going to go fast, you're going to go slow, and that place should feel comfortable to you. And so many people go out and buy just the car that Consumer Reports tells you to buy, or that the internet told you to buy, or a friend has that car, so that's the car for you. No, it's not. Uh, there's a lot of cars out there. There's a lot of cars in every segment out there. When you go, when you're looking for a car, you need to shop for a car. You need to go test drive a car. You need to drive several cars. Not just go to the Ford plant or the Ford dealer because you know your grandfather's uncle worked at the Ford dealer and you get a five thousand dollar discount there. No, that's a terrible reason to buy that car. That's not the car for you. What you want to do is you want to set up a plan. You want to go out, have a route in mind when you go test drive, drive on city streets, highways, everything. You know, play with all the buttons, touch everything in that car, play with every switch, make sure everything is comfortable to you. This is a car. You're probably going to spend a lot of time in this car. Even if you're thinking, I drive 15 minutes to work and back every day, that's still 15 minutes every morning, every afternoon, every day for several years. So, again, yeah, pretty cars. Uh, <laughs> shopping for a car should be the same as a microwave, I guess is kind of the takeaway here. You know, when you buy a microwave, you just want something that works. And yes, that's true with a car. You want a car that works. That's why people buy Toyota Camrys by the boatload. But that doesn't make that car right for you. Again, you need to really play with it. You know, touch everything, sync your phone up, uh, play with the knobs, figure out how to adjust a clock. You know, really make sure you're comfortable in the car. It's a car. You should love it. You should know how it handles, how it feels. It should bring you. It should bring you joy to be in that vehicle every single day, even if you just think of that car as an appliance. So, trying to check how much time I have. Um, yeah, so just because a car guy tells you what car to buy doesn't mean that's the right car also. So, when I tell someone what car to buy, I'm going to give them a list of cars because, again, everybody is different. Just because I like one car doesn't mean you're going to like another car. I love the cars that are on the screen behind me, but it doesn't mean any of these are the right car for you. I love wagons. It doesn't mean a wagon is right for you. I like small fuel efficient cars. It doesn't mean it's right for you. You might have kids. You might have dogs. You might play sports. You know, there's a lot of things to consider when you buy a car, and people don't think about it. They go out and think, I want something reliable and fuel efficient. Those might not really apply to you, though. You might need something that's got a bit more zip or has a character, like a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, and you know, a lot of this applies to new cars, but it's the same with buying a used car. If you're buying a used car, there's millions of used cars out there too. You're not stuck buying just that one $2,000 car that you found on Craigslist. Uh, there's tons of them out there. Really go out there and enjoy a car. Stop treating the car like an appliance, like it's just a tool to get from point A to point B. You should get from point A to point B enjoying yourself in comfort, relaxed, you know, you shouldn't get your car and hate it every day. Um, so, yeah, that's why you should enjoy a car. That's why you bought the wrong car before. Because you've just gone out and thought, all right, I need a car. What did I have before? Let's get a new one of those. Who's got a good deal? Good deals, you know, that's one thing when you're buying, again, a microwave. When you're buying a car, that's an investment. Go out, find the right car for you. Think about it. It's 2013, we shouldn't still be scared of going to a dealer and dealing with the big, bad, scary salesman. Uh, I would like to think we're all slightly more intelligent than that to get over those fears of sitting there at a car dealer intimidated to test drive cars. Go out and drive cars. They're still a wonderful